Hello, it's Kristen Bryant with Stamping with Kristen, and today I want to show you a card that I'm using the Changing Leaves Bundle, and um, this is an online exclusive, and when you go online, you can see a couple samples with it, and that is where I got the idea for today's card. I love that they use some different colors. Mine aren't exactly the same, but um, I'm going with Azure Afternoon, Peach Pie, and Coastal Cabana. You don't think leaves when you think of these colors, but uh, it really looks so cute on there that I just wanted to um, kind of do my own take on that. So I'm going to start with a piece of basic white uh, thick cardstock. This cardstock is what I like to use for um, card bases, um, just because it's, it's a little thicker than the uh, regular cardstock, and I just like to have a nice um, thick piece for that. Then I'm gonna take another piece. This is uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to emboss um, emboss this piece. This is a hybrid embossing folder. And we're not gonna use it that way. I do have another video that I can link that shows how to use the die cut with that. Oh, here's some thunder. I didn't realize it's supposed to do that right now. Hopefully the weather doesn't get too loud. I had no idea I was supposed to do this today. All right, so I've got this piece. Um, you can see, hopefully, the embossing on there. Um, and I just did it on white. So we've got white card base and a white piece like this. So now I'm going to uh, take this piece. This is Azure Afternoon. And I am going to take the dies here. And this is the die, actually, if you're gonna do the hybrid embossing folder, you can put this on here and it will die cut and emboss it, which is pretty cool. We're not gonna do that um, effect on it today. I'm just gonna use this as a, a die. And so I'm gonna put this on here. I just cut this piece five and a half by five and a half. It just fits nice, I'm not wasting much paper. I'm gonna stick this on here. All right, so the one thing I'm gonna do to this, because I also wanna use a blue Azure Afternoon circle on my card, I'm going to put that on here, just like that. And because there's space and I can, I'm just gonna add this little leaf because I'll use it at some point. I don't know if about you, but then I like using all the little pieces of cardstock. You never know when you're going to want a little leaf on there. So I'm going to get this out of the way now. So this is the circle that comes in it, the dies. There's also this shape here and this which fits some greetings, which is awesome. And these just pop out super easily. All right, set this aside. I'm going to stamp on top of these with the stamps that come. These leaves have stamps that give them some more detail. So I'm going to use Azure Afternoon. And we'll start with this large one. When I'm using these stamps and I want them to line it up good, I always like to look to make sure the stem is on there. That is. If I find if I have the stem on that, then it usually goes pretty good. There you have it, is this one. And now I'm going to do this leaf. This is one of those, you can't flip over and do the other side because it doesn't fit just perfectly. Often we can flip things over and do the other side, but not when you're doing this. So I'm going to now put this here. Now ahead of time, I rinsed my stamps and I also did this using the Peach Pie and Coastal Cabana. So you can see I have these pieces all just like that. And so, I'm gonna now take my card here, my piece of paper here, and I'm going to put on some different uh, leaves here. 
Uh, let's see, we'll start with this one here. And then we'll do oh, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Just kind of what you're feeling. And my idea, my my idea with this is you'll make three cards. So each card will put these in a different area. That way you're getting to see them all. So I'm going to add some adhesive onto the back of these. And some of it is gonna uh, be off the bottom and that's, you'll just cut that off. All right, so then I'm just gonna take my paper snips and just trim off the part that goes off the page. And if you have a piece, like I'll show you, um, oops, I'll go from this angle. Um, like on this one, you can see I, this is the first one I did, I didn't get the stem there. Um, by placing this off there, you won't see it. So you can just strategically place if you have any areas that you don't like as much. Have that go off the edge so then you can just cut it off. No one will ever know that you didn't stamp that perfectly. Except I just showed you in the video. All right, so now it is smooth on all the sides. And so I can... I don't want to put tape on the back of this until I've done that, just so that um, I can cut it out. So now I'm going to just put this on like that. I'm going to stamp the greeting. Um, this is a little note to brighten your day. And I thought this that greeting is perfect for this because this is just such a fun, uh, cheery card. So I'm going to just put this on here and I will run this through. I just got it off to the side. I'll just do a quick so you don't have to I have to move it back over. Um whoops. It's uh Sunday and there's a lot of boats going by right now. <laughs> People like to so that's probably what if you can hear that, sorry. So here's a little note to brighten your day. Um, and I've got this piece right here. I did this earlier when I was stamping that. Oh, shit, let me get this off of here. I don't like the spongy surface on there. So I'm gonna just put this circle on here. Again, this is a die from the dies on this stamp set. You can see, I like how I stamped it on the bottom before here. Oops. And then a little note to brighten your day goes on here. It's a little crooked. Fix that. And then now I'm going to take some of our rainbow adhesive dots and I am just going to put some of those around here. And again, you can see a card just like this, just a little bit different. Um, in our uh, online exclusive section on the website. I'm going to put a couple down here too. Let's see. Let's do blue and a green here. So here is my card, a little note to brighten your day, and I used, I used um, Azure Afternoon, Peach Pie, and Coastal Cabana. So just kind of fun leaf colors. Uh, this is a non-fall card. Leaves aren't just for fall. You can use them anytime. So I hope you get time to create and think about who you could send a card to brighten their day this week. Have a good day.